Greetings, liberal comrades, and welcome to another attempt at recording the character creation of Daggerfall. I've had some technical difficulties in doing this. Uh, well, actually, the, my first tank, I just wasn't pleased with that, so I scrapped it, and uh, I decided that I was going to be less rushed during this, even if it took me two or three videos. Because fucking my damn videos. The second time, Daggerfall crash taught me during the middle of character creation. It's like, son of a bitch! I hate it when it does it already. So I decided to uh, grab Yuhu, take a break. Uh, soothe my throat and uh, try for a take three. I'm clearly more laid back during this one, so hey. This is going to be slow and perhaps smooth. Oh yeah. So here we have the uh, the main menu of Daggerfall. Uh, we have a nice little candle there. Sweet. Load save game. We don't have any. We can exit back to our operating system, which we don't want to do. Our other option is to start a new game. Let's do that. Here's the first part of starting a new game. The character generation. Uh, first thing we must do is select our home province. Now Tamriel, the, the empire that we are part of in this game, has a total of nine provinces, but only eight races. Uh, in future games there is a race which operates out of the Imperial province that does not exist in Daggerfall. Instead you have these eight races in the eight outlying provinces. Just for you know, for the record, uh, Daggerfall takes place in the Iliac Bay the region immediately surrounding it, which covers High Rock and Hammerfell. So the area right around here. Morrowind, as I'm sure many of you know, uh, takes place right up here. And Oblivion takes place in all of Cyrodiil, Cyrodiil, uh, this Imperial Province area. Arena naturally takes place in, you know, the whole fucking thing. Uh, alrighty, so... Let's uh, do a review of all the provinces. Starting up here in the top left with the Bretons. The Bretons are pretty much the main race you're going to be seeing in this game. Since uh, a huge region of Daggerfall is High Rock, where the Bretons are from. Uh, the Bretons are pretty good at uh, magic resistance. Thundaba. We're going to go next to Hammerfell. Red Guards. They're, they're, they're pretty well known as warriors. Skyrim, home of the Nords, very tough uh, cold resistance. Morrowin, home of the Dark Elves, pretty much jacks of all trades, can handle everything pretty well. Black Marsh, home of the lizard-like Argonians, who are quite uh, well at swimming. Who are quite well at they, they, they excel at it. There you go. Then we go to elsewhere. <laughs> That's how I always. Because I thought it was funny elsewhere. Uh, holds the Kajit? Kajit? I don't know. I don't much pronounce that uh, cat race name. Yeah, I really never... I've never beaten this game with one of those. Um, never really played a, any in Morrowind or Oblivion either. Uh, silly, silly race. Silly. Then we have Valenwood. Valenwood, home of the Wood Elves. Never trust a wood elf. Ever. They're sneaky, thieving, conniving sons of bitches. Remember, folks, never trust a wood elf. Alright, then we have Somerset Isle, which goes re re through repeated spelling, respellings. It's home to the High Elves, or Altmers, as they're known in future games. They are, uh,. They are immune to paralysis. Now, uh, to tell you folks some interesting, uh, irrelevant data, uh, or well, how this is supposed to work is your race and the gender you select will have an impact on your character's stats. Problem, your class's stats override any racial bonuses or penalties you would receive for picking a race. Consequently, the race you choose, if it's for stats, doesn't mean much of a hill fucking beans. Now, these other modifiers, like the skill things, I think those have an impact. 
I'm not sure. Like, the Argonians being better swimmers, I think that still has an impact. It's been a while since I played. You're more than welcome to correct me if you know I'm wrong, but hey, you know. Uh, the, the other thing that stays is uh, certain inheritant resistance or immunities. For example, the High Elves are still immune to paralysis, no matter what your class says you are. The, no, the Bretons are still immune to resistant to magic, rather, and the Nords are still resistant to cold. Now, because the High Elves are entirely immune to paralysis, you can choose a class, or rather, you can create your own custom class that uh, has a disadvantage of being very weak to paralysis, and your High Elf special racial perk will override it, and you'll be so super fucking awesome cool. Now, uh, this is actually a really powerful uh, immunity because paralysis is the most dangerous spell effect for low-level characters, in my opinion. Uh, you get paralyzed by a spider, it's likely you're fucking dead. Um, there are a few loopholes uh, out of that, but I won't use them. Consequently, uh, paralysis immunity to such is a very fucking handy attribute to handle. Later on, you can deal with it easier and better, but, you know... For the time being, uh, that's really good. But I won't be picking a high elf. The primary reason is because I hate elves. The secondary reason being that it would be too tempting to ride through the, the paralysis loophole and get a stronger character. Um, I hate elves for a variety of reasons. Absolute myriad. Um, they don't relate to Dwarf Fortress because I was never a big player of Dwarf Fortress, so... I can't connect with you there, folks who play that game, but rest assured, I loathe and despise elves. Not a big fan. And since we will be seeing tons of Bretons in this game, we're picking a Nord. We will be a male Nord. Uh, you, you, pretty much your, your, your preference there, what you feel like playing. Just so you all know, I'm going to get it out of the way. There is a lot of graphical content in this game. You know, there's a child guard feature, but if you leave it off, there is cartoonish nudity, and since you get a dress of Dawn on the inventory screen, yes, if you really feel like it, you can uh, you strip off your character's clothes, and if you have a few, I'm gonna, oh my god, boobs! I mean, that's a big deal if you're like fucking nine, but uh, it's not that much of a big deal for me anymore, and uh, really appreciate it if we could avoid that situation, so I'm definitely going mail. Uh, the next option we have is to uh, choose from my list of, you guys can read. You can either do this, which is choose from a list of classes, or create your own, or it'll send you, if you can't decide on the class you'd like, into questionnaire mode, which is, we're going to ask you some questions, and depending on how you feel, uh, we're going to suggest a class for you. You don't have to pick the class, but we're just going to suggest one anyway. Uh, if you really want to see those questions, you can play Morrowind, because pretty much the same questions are in that, or get the game yourself. Daggerfall is free to download and play. We're going to choose from a list, I'm going to skip the questionnaire, and we are going to create our own class, because none of these are, 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 are good enough. So here we are, at the class creation screen. This is not a character creation screen. Remember that. So what we choose will be uh, what our character will initially have, but he'll still be a little bit different. For example, uh, over here are the minimum stats that a character being in this class can have. Strength, intelligence, willpower, agility, endurance, personality, speed, and luck. Currently, we are increasing intelligence and willpower. We are going to uh, knock personality down. Increase our character speed. And we are going to fail train luck straight into oblivion. Because, fuck luck. I make my own through skill. These, 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 these stat, these attributes, in my opinion, pretty much cover what you'd expect from your, uh, your standard RPG. Uh, strength covers your physical attack and encumbrance. Intelligence covers spell points. Willpower covers your magic resistance. Agility covers your dodging capabilities in combat. Endurance covers health regeneration rate and additional hit points per level. Personality is like a charisma attribute. Affects whenever you talk to people. 
Speed pretty much determines movement, uh, how quickly you can attack. And luck doesn't govern much of anything, except it governs a little bit of everything. Now, uh, it's pretty much a standard breakdown, and all the skills which we will be picking uh, are governed on each of these stats, except for luck. Um, so let's get on with picking our skills. Primary skill: your, your character is composed of your primary skills, your major skills, and your minor skills. This determines what your character's real strengths are for this class. Uh, mm. These are absolutely important to pick and pick correctly and will make the difference between a great character and a challenged <laughs> character. <laughs> this is why uh, most of the standard classes end up being challenges, if you will. And I'm going to pause for a, um, a few seconds because I know I'm going to be cutting the video and separating it right about, you know, around here.